Hi, my name is Dan Dooley, Superintendent of Schools in Commercial Township, uh, which is located in Cumberland County, New Jersey. I am the owner of Hope and Sky, our school's um, therapy dogs. Here in the Commercial Township School Districts, um, both Hope and Sky um, have a very rigorous schedule um, daily. They're here with us Monday through Thursday uh, and work with approximately 70 students uh, apiece throughout the week. Some of the programs we have them uh, implemented in is the uh, SMILE program, which stands for Silent Mentors and Literacy Education, where Sky and Hope either push into the classroom or students uh, visit Sky and Hope in quiet places where they're uh, able to read to them and practice uh, literacy skills. Both Sky and Hope are also used as uh, behavioral incentives for some of our uh, BD or behavioral disadvantaged uh, students. Um, they're used for everything as classroom rewards, positive incentives, um, or even to de-escalate students who are in a time of crisis or, or, or are having a meltdown. So I first um, began to, to inquire about uh, therapy dogs um, approximately when I first started teaching. Um, and at the time I had an English Bulldog and my uh, dad was in and out of the hospital with complications of diabetes. And while every couple of weeks he was in the hospital, he had to go to rehab to build up his strength to come home. And the only thing he ever asked for was to see the dogs. So it was very sad that the dogs couldn't go and see him. Um, so as this began to happen more frequently, I had the English Bulldog um, trained as a therapy dog and then went into the hospital and to visit him. And he was just you know, so overwhelmed and so surprised um, that we continued to do it. And I really saw the impact it had not only with my dad, but also uh, with some of the people that were in the rehabilitation centers um, and it just brightened up their entire day and uh, I was wondering if the, if the carryover would also be to students. So through uh, my dissertation in regards to social emotional character development I ran into some research that actually supported the benefits of having uh, therapy dogs in schools and um, so when I came to Commercial Township with a 27 percent special education population and a uh, literacy level that is beyond the state, be below the state average, it really seemed to be a perfect match. Um, so at that point, it was just a matter of selecting the right dog. And uh, I probably, even before I came to Commercial Township and then well into um, my time here, I really searched for the perfect dog and uh, I had a breeder reach out to me after I had contacted her about, you know, how to obtain uh, you, you know, a good therapy dog that would be out, outstanding with children from three years old on up, uh, contacted me and said, you know, I, I have a 15 month um, Greater Swiss Mountain Dog and uh, I'd be happy to donate him to you uh, for the use of the kids at the school. And uh, so then came Sky um, and there was also some local um, things that we had seen when we went down to um, the school board's convention down in Atlantic City. There was a, um, a big highlight and push for a behavioral school not too far away from here um, named Pinelands that were using five different therapy dogs in their um, general scheme of, of a school day. And uh, Dr. Taylor, who at the time was a director there, came here, presented to our board, presented to our community, and it was shortly after that we uh, took in Sky and um, you know began to implement him as a therapy dog here in Commercial Township. There was such a need. Sky was working five days a week plus doing his dog shows on the weekend. Uh, we decided to go out and get a, another therapy dog, Hope, um, a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog as well. And uh, you know it, it's funny because some students' personalities really match well with Sky, and some. Uh, really just uh, flock to hope and, and it really is an individual student um, desire as to who they bond with or who they seem to understand uh, more. So, Hi, my name is Michelle Miller. I teach LLD 3 through 5. The changes in the affect of the kids after seeing Sky and Hope is they are much calmer. A lot of times they are doing their work if they refuse beforehand. They are a little more open when talking to you and 
they are just comfortable and more relaxed. I had a student who was having a very off day, wasn't quite um, together, and he had to read to me, and he just was not focused. So I went and asked Mrs. Kilbride if she could bring um, Sky or Hope, I'm sorry, Hope, over to read with one of my students. As soon as she came over, he sat right on the floor next to Hope, and he read her the entire book. And then he, at the end of it, he explained what the entire book was about, character setting, all of that. And he explained it all to her while laying down the floor face to face with Hope. Hello, my name is Jessica Torsicolo, and I'm one of the school counselors at the Haleyville Maurice Town School. The program has impacted my job um, by making me really excited to come to work in the morning. Um, I know how well the therapy dogs work with the students, so it makes my job a lot easier and it makes me have something to look forward to because who doesn't want to go to work with a dog in their workplace. <laughs> so the changes that I've seen um, since the start of the program, I've um, noticed in specific kids. Um, there are certain kids that work towards having the therapy dog as like a behavioral re reward or um, we use them in crisis situations with specific children. Um, there's one student in particular who struggles with actually entering the school in the morning. So I use the therapy dog as a way to kind of guide him into the school, have him walk with the dog, walk with me um, to his classroom so it helps that student get into the school. I have students who have a rough time with classwork and other things happening within the classroom and they tend to hide underneath the desks. So bringing the therapy dogs in there helps them cope and actually communicate what's going on with them. So it's helped me deal with certain kids that might have issues verbalizing how they feel, um, but all, all in all it's made my job a lot easier. Hi, I'm Martin Altersitz. I teach the MD classroom, uh, currently K-4. to So one of the ways that Sky and Hope have helped is especially last year I had a student who was very empathetic towards animals, so when he would get really high strung or start to get aggressive, we would bring Sky in and he would immediately calm down. You could see the tension in his shoulders and his face and it would just sort of wash away. Uh, so for that aspect, uh, it makes my work a lot easier. Uh, and on more of a personal level, I do just enjoy hanging out with Sky and Hope I enjoy that a lot. Hi, my name is Allison Kilbride. I'm the school counselor at the Haleyville Maurice Town Elementary School, and I'm also one of the handlers for Sky and Hope. There have been a lot of changes here at Haleyville since this program has started. Um, a lot of students who used to take an hour or longer to de-escalate and get back into their classrooms um, now take minimal time by using the dogs as a de-escalation tool. For example, today, um, there was a student who was crawling under his desk and I was called for assistance. Uh, I went to the classroom, the student was under his desk like I said. I offered being able to walk the dogs outside. He immediately got up, took my hand, and we took the dogs for a five minute walk outside. And now he is now back in his classroom being productive and it's been less than a half an hour. So it's really shown a lot of change for some of our behavioral students in the building. Uh, there are hundreds of examples that I could give for uh, positive effects that it's had on students. For example, there are some students, uh, one in particular that I can think of, that will shut down on a routine basis, won't get any work done, won't communicate with anyone, won't move from the spot that she's in. Um, this student, when offered the dogs, will come with you, will pet the dogs, and within a few minutes is able to write down her responses um, so she's able to communicate her feelings while petting the dogs and we are able to de-escalate her much quickly, much more quickly. Guy and Hope bring me to Commercial Township. Um, I am writing a doctoral dissertation on interventions and primarily looking at specialized service dogs or therapy dogs in the classroom and the success or whatever challenges there are working with emotionally disturbed students. So I came all the way from Southern California and it was quite a travel journey, starting in Palm Springs. I won't go into the gory details of it, but suffice it to say, the plane was a little bit late. And I did finally get into Baltimore very late in the evening, a couple of nights ago. Drove over here the next morning, which was just a fine drive. However, I had a little bit of travel weariness. And when I walked in the room, 
the room full of people. I was very excited. Dr. Dooley was here, but Sky and Hope came up to me, and I didn't literally know who to greet first. <laughs> Dr. Dooley put his hand down, but I wanted to get right on the floor and do this to Sky. And I sat down, and everybody introduced themselves, and Sky came over and put his head right here. And I looked at him, and I was on his ears. And it was quite a moment. It was really terrific. I didn't get to meet Hope as much, but Sky is phenomenal. Um, Sky and Hope are really great to my like health because like me being like really sad after something really bad happened, they can keep me up and just help me through it. They make me feel happy and when I'm mad they make me feel good about myself. Um, they remind me of my old dog and my dogs when I was little. Before last year in second grade I was mad and I came to your office and Sky was here in Hoop and I petted them and it made me feel good about myself. Like when I'm sad it, it, they will make me happy because like when I'm uh, have my head down they will try to push in under me and lick me like if I had my head down like this, they, they would poke their nose in and start licking me, and it would make me feel happy. I love Sky and Hope. I named my dog Sky because it looks like Sky. Sky and Hope make me feel happy when I'm sad. So, um, you know, we saw the advantage here in Commercial Township right away um, with some of the changes in behavior, some of the excitements with students, a behavioral incentive that we normally wouldn't have had. Um, and we saw the positive changes right here in our school culture and climate in grades pre-K all the way up until eighth grade. Um, even on testing days for standardized testing, um, you know, we've brought the, the dogs through and just kind of puts everybody at a little more ease and a little more relaxed. Um, we've also seen uh, a lot of recognition from other um, schools. Uh, in fact, we just uh, had an individual uh, fly in from California to complete. Uh, she's an administrator out in California and the public schools. And uh, to complete her, her, her dissertation studies or doctoral studies on the effectiveness of therapy dogs with, with a behavioral population. And, um, you know, there's also been many schools in our areas that have reached out and said, you know, how are you doing it? What are the effects? What is some of the data that you've been able to obtain? Um, and for a community, a small community like ours, that is a little bit off the beaten track, it's hard for us to necessarily get those positive attributes or, or those um, accolades. And uh, Sky and Hope have certainly been an attraction for some of those uh, good things that we're doing here in Commercial Township. And they've been, it's been reflected um, in multiple newspaper outlets and as well as uh, the local news just showing the benefits and showing Sky and Hope interacting with students and uh, of course the uh, Sky's success doesn't end there outside of uh, school and, and, and the community. Uh, he's currently ranked for the 16-17 uh, year um, that just passed um, number four uh, in the entire country for his breed uh, which got him a uh, automatic invite um, to Westminster, which he'll be competing at on February 13th. And, uh, you know, so he's, he's had much success not only here, not only at home as an enjoyable, uh, you know, something that brings an additional joy to, to your home, uh, but, you know, I get to share that with uh, 700 students here in Commercial Township, and, um, you know, also he's succeeding in, in the ring as well. And, you know, Hope is uh, following in his footsteps pretty good you know we knew she was going to be special she came in and seemed to pick up everything that he did and um, you know just learned by watching him and uh, so we couldn't ask for a better better role model for her uh, and, and um, you know she's progressing so nicely as well so for those uh, looking to implement a you know some type of therapy dog program um, what I would recommend is look at the different universities or colleges or even public schools who are implementing it now. There is a body of research that is beginning to develop that wasn't necessarily there
during our implementation of this program three years ago. So I would, you know, continue to base the program on the need of a particular community, but use the research and the positive um, correlation between therapy and the desired results you're striving for to really generate a new program. And uh, it's hard for people to, um, you know, really resist that a program that that works in a very special way with sometimes students that are marginalized or not as easy to, um, you know, reach. So, uh, you know, let the research kind of guide that, and uh, you know, and then as as it begins to work in your own community, you know, that will continue to grow and. And uh, anybody who's necessarily resisting that, um, you know, for fears of uh, liability or whatever it may be, um, you know, the good begins to outweigh any of the potential bad. Sky the Hero Dog. My principal, Mr. Dooley, has a super dog, and he doesn't know it. His name is Sky. Sky is brown with some spots of white, and his back is as dark as the night sky. He is very big and very lovable. Little does everyone know, Sky is a super dog. His powers are ice breath, super speed, flying, and a little dog talk. At the Haleyville School, there was a blazing fire. Sky acted immediately. <clears throat> he smelled the fire and busted out of his cage. He started. He starts jumping through walls to alert the teacher and students there is a fire. He barked and all the windows opened and he pushed everyone out. Just when he thought everyone was safe, he heard Mr. Dooley scream, HELP! <clears throat> he flashes to the main office because Mr. Dooley and his friends were trapped in the main office. And Sky ran in and threw everyone out the window and blew the fire away. He saved the school and everybody screamed.